So we start thinking about our bridal party and who you want involved, who you want there, who you want to walk down the aisle with us, what dress is going to look fleeky on this one, who's going to like turn up the most, who's going to dance like they've never danced, who's going to catch that bouquet for you, who's going to be making sure you're looking glam to the maximum. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This channel is all things marriage, motherhood, relationships, social work, and a little bit more. Today's video is going to be about how to choose your bridal party. Now, I'm going to be giving you my top tips for choosing your bridal party. Okay, so we're going to get right into the video. Choosing your bridal party, as soon as you announce that you're getting married and you're engaged, the first thing that women tend to think about are choosing their bridal party. And I think I've touched on it in a previous video, but like I said, I'm honing in, honing right in. So your bridal party are very, 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 very important. They honestly have such a major, major part to play. People that you typically call on for support are members of your bridal party. Um, and it differs for the bride and it differs for the groom. Um, I think men are more relaxed and they, they don't really mind and they're not threatened and they're not, you know, all bothersome and hot-headed about things going wrong. With, like, they're really lax about it. Um, whereas women, we need a lot of support because we tend to be the ones that are doing a lot of the planning, a lot of the organising, liaising with vendors, speaking to our coordinator or wedding planner. So, yeah you need good people firstly i would say choose reliable people the reason why i say that is because let's just say uh you needed to go and collect something and you couldn't do it because you were tied up elsewhere you need somebody that you know is willing to a travel for you b that's going to go do that for you and c they're going to turn up there on time like that you need reliable people in your bridal party like you need to be able to say actually i can't manage this i can't do this guys i need you to do these tasks now for me what i did was delegate tasks to like the my bride's bridesmaids and i ask them to do certain things i know people's strengths i know what people are good at um and the people who delivered delivered people who were asked to do certain things they were able to do it um and they done it to the best of their ability bearing in mind they had their own things going on and my wedding was not their priority my second point would be don't feel pressured to choose family members now um my mum was like to me, oh, you're not going to choose this cousin, you're not going to choose that cousin, you're not going to choose this cousin, you're not going to choose that cousin. Like the majority, if not all of my bridal party, bar my maid of honour, were my friends. Um, and I wouldn't even call them friends. They are literally like my sisters, not like, they are my sisters. They are my sisters. And the reason why I say that is because I speak to these women every day. They have been integral parts of specific moments in my life where things weren't going right and things were not what I wanted them to be and they were there they have been my shoulders to cry on they have literally been everything to me so for me to not include them in my wedding and for them not to be part of my bridal party I feel like I would have been doing myself a disservice don't feel pressure to choose your family members if you feel that you have better connections outside of your family it's your wedding do what you want to do like choose who you know is gonna fulfill your needs but also gonna be there and have been integral to your life okay. next point would be choose people who know you as a couple so i know obviously sometimes you meet someone and then your friends aren't really part of that journey but I'm telling you, a thousand percent of the time, when your friends are part of your journey, your relationship, they meet up with your partner, they know who your partner is, they have his number maybe, they can message him if they can't get through to you. Stuff like that make it so much easier because there's open communication. Remember, when you're getting, um, you're becoming married, um, effectively, you're both joining up. So that means your friends are kind of my friends and my friends are your friends and all of that. We don't have, there's no separation. So for me, it was so kind of smooth on my side, especially because all of my friends have been around um, the mister. All of my friends have been around him. Um, they have his number. They can speak to him. They can message him if they want to or send a DM on Instagram. Sometimes, obviously, you're not 
able to have that you say you're not able to to be around people um who know you both or your friends are just solely your friends and you haven't actually binded and um, everyone hasn't joined as a community what i done to kind of break the ice was to have a dinner so um we kept it a secret we wanted everyone to kind of be surprised i made these little would you be my bridesmaids and would you be my groomsmen little gift box sets and it was really really pretty and i think that bonding everyone or getting everyone acquainted i was like everyone exchange a number so this is your partner this is who you're going to be with and it's going to do blah, blah, blah. it was good it was good it was a good vibe um the intentions were pure from our end um and i'm actually really glad that i done that because it helped the process not 100 percent, but it helped the processing with the partners i definitely think for your bridal party um you need to be able to feel like you can be transparent with them as well so you need to be able to say actually guys i'm not happy today or you just need to be able to communicate with them they're like your team they're like you're a manager and you've got your team and they're going to be doing a load of things for you and you need to be directive in a very nice way mind you um and you also need to kind of just yeah gel everyone just needs to gel uh, that is it guys i've kept it very short and sweet because i have spoken about this in a previous video but i wanted to just give you a few tips as to choosing your bridal party um like i said it's your wedding you are the ones getting married you make the decisions you make all the choices so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you're getting married in 2021 do you know who your bridal party are or have you chosen them yet have you not chosen them yet what went into your thought processes how did you do it and do you think these tips are useful